When you're out paddling, you probably don't think too much about protecting biodiversity or preventing the spread of invasive species. It's not why you go canoeing, but maybe we all should. Looking after these environments is in our own self-interest, and in Norfolk, the Broads Authority has introduced some innovative measures to make it easy for canoeists to do their bit, as Helen found out on a recent paddling trip. The Norfolk Broads is truly one of Britain's great canoeing destinations. With 200 kilometres of tidal rivers and shallow lakes, there's almost an endless expanse of routes for canoeists of all abilities. But this fantastic resource is under constant threat from both human activity and invasive species. So the challenge for the Brawls Authority is to preserve access for all while protecting this delicate environment. Luckily for us, it's a challenge they relish. Well, the Brawls is a very sensitive ecosystem. It's got lots of wildlife uh, de uh, designations, both national and international. We see it as a family-friendly destination. What we want to do is to make it the best we possibly can with as many top quality facilities for paddlers so that paddlers actually see this as a top priority destination. If, they, if they're thinking about where am I going to go paddling, the Broads is top of their list. In the lower river system, to, uh, further downstream towards the sea, you have uh, wide reed-fringed reed rivers, massive reed runs, um, and lots and lots of standing windmills or drainage pumps, in fact, that, uh, that, that were used uh, to drain the marshes to make the, the land farmable behind, behind the, the river banks. Uh, so the Broads, one of the iconic images of the Broads is the mills that you see everywhere. Uh, and, and it just makes for, for fantastic scenery as you're paddling. You're, you're getting a lot of uh, rare bird species and plant species on the fens and, and open, open uh, areas of land in the Broads. So one of the things we're really keen on is to prevent invasive species getting into that fragile ecosystem. And one of the ways that can happen is by people using the water and bringing their boats from elsewhere. Uh, and if you put your boat in and it's got uh, even, uh, not necessarily animal species, but weeds like floating pennywort on it, that can get into the Broads River system and start to become a problem. They could be really tiny animals, like uh, there's a thing called the killer shrimp, which we're, we're really trying to stop the spread of that. Um, uh, so you, you wouldn't necessarily see it when you looked at your boat. The Environment Agency uh, and, uh, and other conservation bodies, including ourselves, are running a program called Check Clean Dry. So you check your gear, uh, clean as far as possible, and let it dry out completely, and you'll, you'll probably kill it. Yeah, so we're building these uh, um, canoe launch points because while, while we're telling people don't launch off natural banks, we actually want to be providing safe facilities and make it easy for people to get into the water and paddle and enjoy the National Park uh, area generally. So here we've installed a brush system for people when they push their boat through uh, to get onto the canoe launch. It should hopefully brush off the, uh, any shrimp or other invasive species that's on the bottom of the boat before they put it in the water. We've had really positive feedback on, on all the facilities we've built in the last year. Um, as I say, we, we, we want to expand that because we've also published a range of uh, canoe trails that sort of direct people to the best areas for paddling throughout the broads. And in those areas where the canoe, tra the, the canoe trails cover, we want to get as many good facilities in for launching as possible. For me, as a paddler in the broads, it enables me to get away from uh, the, the bustle of my, my life enables me to get to some really beautiful areas that are quiet and tranquil and it's really I suppose a cure for the soul when you're paddling around this area. It, it feeds you and makes you grow as a person. Having paddled just a small section of the Broads, I can certainly agree with that and I can't wait to come back and see more of this very special place. <laughs>